in this video i'm going to talk about one of the types of special journals which is the sales journal the business document related here is the sales invoice and then you have the entries related although this is the general journal format we will not be doing this in the sales journal and then in the sales journal you would be doing two postings one in the general ledger and one in the subsidiary ledger to illustrate how um, sales journal works we have two transactions and it is supported by the sales invoice you are the seller here and in the sales invoice you have the sales invoice number the date the customer name and the terms and of course you may also see other details okay and on the right you have the general journal entries okay so meaning if you try to record these transactions in the general journal it would look like this this one and as i mentioned in a separate video instead of recording repetitive transactions like sales on account in the general journal it would be better if it is placed or recorded in the special journals specifically the sales journal now how can we convert these entries to the sales journal actually the format of the sales journal is very straightforward so let us try to record the first transaction we have this i will place this one here the first line so for the date it's january 1 for the customer just write the customer name customer a and then we have the f the f here is called a folio this is a posting reference column given that this is posting it will be done later so for now we will skip and then for the terms we have 210 and 30 then we transfer the amounts 112 for sales 100 for output tax 12. So instead of using three lines in the sales journal, you are only using one line. Recording wise, this is easier because you will not be thinking of debits and credits. For the next transaction, this one, I will place it here. This is dated January 31 and this is for customer p and for the app let's skip for terms 7 11 and 60 and then for the amounts we have 224 224 let's say only have these two transactions for the month in the sales journal you would be getting the total for each account title okay so let's get the total first for ar it's three three six for the sales three hundred then for the output tax it's thirty six and then we double the rule okay so we are done with the sales journal for the month next the next step here is posting meaning you will be transferring journal entry information to the general ledger and normally if you don't use the special journal you would be posting the amounts one by one so one posting for this amount one 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 so you have a total of six if you have 15 transactions that's 15 times 3 45 postings and in the sales journal it's much simpler why because here before you post you will be getting the total okay and then after getting the total that's the time you post it will be much simpler because you will only be transferring it three times regardless of the number of transactions okay so that's another benefit of the sales journal it um, provides for simpler posting okay so now how do we post i have the account titles here in the general ledger and i only set up the t account for the ones that i will use okay and then the account numbers here are just assumed Okay, so now how do we post? For AR, it's 336. It, and it's a debit. 
So, I will post it here. AR336. And after posting, underneath the total, you will write the account number. So, for AR, it's 1, 2, 3. To indicate that the amount 336 was already posted. For the sales, it's 300 credit. So, place it here. And after posting, write the account number underneath. So, 2, 3, 4. And then finally, for output tax, that's 36 credit. So, after posting, write the account number 345. Okay. So, you are done posting the transactions in the general ledger. Now, how do we post this in the subsidiary ledger? Because under AR, which is a control account, you have the subsidiary ledgers. Okay, you have two customers. For the posting in the subsidiary ledger, you only need the information on the accounts receivable. So for customer A, this one, it's 112. And for customer B, it's 224. Okay, so let's place it here. Let's post. Customer A, it's 112. And for customer B, it's 224 which will give you the total amount of 336 in the general ledger or the control account related accounts receivable okay so after posting you would just tick the box here to indicate that the amounts were placed okay and after that you are done with posting you already posted the information in the general ledger and at the same time already posted in your subsidiary ledger Okay, so that's it.